I'm Chef Frank, this is Proto Cooks, and today we're making smoked trout pate. When I was a restaurant chef, I used to serve this as an appetizer. I would serve some bread or some crackers or some chips. Uh, now I use it for family events like, you know, parties, um, the holidays, uh, brunch. This is a really great brunch item to serve with bagels. Uh, and then like it's kind of a great kind of alternative to lox. Um, but I promise you, if you try it, you make it, it'll be a really good addition to your toolbox. Culinary toolbox, that is. For my smoked trout pate, this is what you're gonna need. Cream cheese, smoked trout, lemon juice, chives, and of course, salt and pepper. Before we start, let's talk about a couple of the ingredients. I have cream cheese, it is full fat cream cheese. It is room temperature. I took it out about a couple hours ago. If you use cold cream cheese, it's problematic. It just doesn't blend really well. We're using the food processor. Room temperature cream cheese, smoked trout, you can find smoked trout in a lot of deli sections uh, or specialty food sections in your supermarket. I get mine at Trader Joe's. Uh, it's not super expensive and a little goes a long way. If you can't find smoked trout, uh, by the way, which is cooked, this is fully cooked, find another smoked fish that is fully cooked to use instead. Pretty much the only prep you have to do is chopping the chives up. Everything else just goes into the food processor, so it's quick and easy. I just have some really nice chives, and these get tossed in at the end. They don't get pureed in. Uh, I'm gonna just kind of chop them, put them in after the pate is made, just to kind of give us a garnish and a nice oniony pop. So just get your chives, again, I don't really go for super fancy stuff. I always go for rustic. So if they're not perfectly cut, if you're not, you know, like the best with your knife skills, it's not really that big of a deal. Just chop your chives. And as you get to the end, it's a little more rough chop. All right, scoop them into a bowl, set them aside, and then we can make the pate. I love the fact this comes together so quick. So what we're gonna do is take our cream cheese that's softened, get it into your Cuisinart or food processor. I'm gonna put some lemon juice in there now. So I'm gonna use probably like about one lemon. Make sure you don't get any seeds in there if you do pick the seeds out. The lemon juice gives us a little brightness. Uh, I'm gonna puree this up with a little salt and pepper and get this cream cheese smooth before I add the trout. Salt, pepper. And let's get our cream cheese smooth. Right, I always scrape the sides a couple of times when I'm pureeing things. Just make sure it's nice and soft. All right, it's nice and smooth and fluffy. It only takes a couple of seconds. Now that our cream cheese is light and smooth, I can add my trout. Basically, you're gonna take the skin off. I don't really keep the skin, and then I just break up my trout. Trout has a little bit of bones in it, but the bones are so soft that it doesn't really affect the final product. I really don't worry about them. So I break this up, put both fillets in there, skin off, and just kind of break it up. And then the lid goes back on, and I kind of just pulse. I want to break the trout up, but I don't want it to be totally pureed. I want some chunks in there. So I'm just going to pulse it a few more times. And there will be some big chunks of trout in there. I'm fine with that. If you get the big chunk of trout, you win. All right. One more pulse. Okay, we can add our chives now. All in, and then just pulse with the chives once or twice. Basically just to fold them in, scrape your sides down, kind of fold them in. I'm gonna do one more pulse, and we're done. Super quick, super easy, and it's super satisfying. Let's plate it up and give it a taste. All right, it's my favorite time, time to taste. I got myself a little cracker here. 
Look how beautiful it is. Let's give it a try. Mm. It's smoky. It's uh, got a little onion bite. The chives are just saying hi to us. The lemon kind of like cuts the creaminess and the richness of the trout. I think it's delicious. I serve it to my friends and family all the time and they love it. I really want to hear what you guys think. If you try this recipe or you have another smoked fish pate that you do, tell me in the comments. I'd love to hear about it. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give us a thumbs up, like, and subscribe. We have merch in the description down below. We also have a PO box down there. I want to thank my Patreon patrons for supporting us. And that is my smoked trout tip. I'm Chef Frank. This is Proto Cooks. Have a good one.